So, now we have seen how we can enable self host to self host. Now, now let us see once we enable self host to self host, then what we need to do? Our main target to share the data between two works or between the connections with whom we are establishing. So, now once we enable this self host to self host, let me go to my connect one org. Okay. So, now you see there is one connection tab. If you go to connection tab here, I just let me open this connection tab. So, you see here in the connection tab, there is some template I have and some connection we have. So, we can create template and we can create connection. So, see what I am going to do here. If I am in the connection tab, if I click on the new, so now I am going to establishing the connection. You can see I am setting up connection between the orgs. Okay. So, now for my connections, what I do, you can see I am going to define a contact here. Okay. Then I can define who is my connection owner, like any user. And what, what is your connection feature? That is nothing but my template. So, for that, what I do, I am going to use this template. So, once you open connection tab, you can see the template. Now, I can define the template here. So, you can click on the new template. Okay. So, now here in the template, what I do, I am going to give some con some template name. Let us see. My template name is SF. Let us see. I can define, okay, this template I can use to share the data among different organizations. Let us see, I instead of uh, two organizations, I have uh, one more self or with whom also I just share my account data or my opportunity data or case case of the data or any custom of the data. That also we can define here. So, my self or can connect to multiple self or with the help of self to self -host. and I can define one template, the same template I can use on different connections also. So, now you see, let us see, I am going to create one template. Simply, I can say self host to, to self -host, okay. Any name you can give, okay. I can make this uh, template as active. So, I enter the name and descriptions, then we can make the active and then this template I can, I can, I can assign whenever I am going to create a connections. You can see here, I can pick here. Okay. So, let me create this one. This is nothing but my partner network template I am creating. So, when I am sharing data to partner, what kind of data or from which object I am going to share data that I will define here. I click on the share now. Okay. Now, once I share this template, so now what are the object you want to publish? It will be defined here. Okay. So, to do what I will do, I can define my publish and unpublish object. So, let us say I click on this button. So, this template, let us consider I am going to share my account record, my case record, my lead record, and also let us consider product record. Whatever the record you want, you can just pick it up. Then I click on the save. So, which object I want to share, you can share one object or multiple records or like one object or multiple objects, everything you, you can define here. Okay. So, once we define by default, self has pick up that object field like for account, account name is picked up the field for case, subject, for lead, my company and last name. So, like this, we can also select what are the objects I want. So, what are the field I want. On this object, for example, I want apart from account name, I want to pick few more field. I simply click edit. Then let us I want to pass my account retic, account type. Let us consider I want to take the field like my website. Okay. And let us see account form. What are the field you want? You can select and set it. We can select what are the field of this object which I am using. Okay. Uh, what are the fields I can publish? Okay. Once uh, after the object and their fields are published and subscribe we can share that record with connections and whenever any update happen to that records automatically this update will be sent. I no need to have some other API calls or anything. Automatically self -host will send the updated data to my subscribed org. Okay. Same way I can pick some other object or other field from the case object also. Let us see I want to take the case number. Let us see what was it. Let us case number, case type, let us name let status i can select it so like this let me set for lead okay for the lead i want to take you can pick custom object standard object anything okay let's i want to take city i want to take employee i want to take phone let's first name 
uh, let's consider uh, status i'm just randomly picking up some field for each object you can pick any any field you want so from the product i am going to create i am going to pick some more field okay let's display url save it so now i configured what is my template of this connection and i want to share that data with my another self server so now we'll see when i set up this connection uh, templating some template and now let me cancel it i'll show you from starting okay so once you come to connection tab from the template i have defined one template and what are the objects i need now i can create a connection so now you see that's i'm saying how i'm going to setting up the connection okay so now i click on new button so now you can see contact so what is this contact okay so contact you can see here is a mandatory field for us okay which we have to populate here means the contact when i when i say contact is nothing but in your partner org with which org you want to connect in that org there will be a contact with the same email id okay so with that contact i am going to establish the connections so in the contact i'll have email id so to this email id i will get a invitation notifications nothing but if you remember when i was setting up this selfers i have a invitation template this invitation template what email i have that email will go to this contact email okay so that's why we have to define the the contact to which contact i want so to do that let's see i'm just going to create a contact immediately with the same email id what i'll have in my target org okay so that they will get a email and that uh, email and um, invitation link they can use so i'm just going to create a contact record simply so i have used the email id as let me write here email id or i can for now i can just put the name here okay and let me go to the email field and here i am going to set the email as dbct11@gmail.com okay this is the email id i kept so this is my contact now i am going to pick this contact okay in my invitation so now i am going to populate that contact here see so i pick it now let's i am not going to fill any account it's just uh, empty i kept and which template i want now my template knows what are the objects i want to share so this is a invitation to this contact for with them i am going to share the data or the objects which i defined on this template now i will save and send invite before to that let me open my gmail and show you so if you see here right now i do not have any email for my selfers connect okay it's the same email id what i am using dbct11@gmail.com now if you see i am doing this one setting up connection between selfers to selfers okay and publishing this object in selfers to selfers i have shown you while i create my template itself okay but the few part left out i'll show you that also right now okay so now once i save this invitation which i'm creating it will send a email to the email address of this contact now you can see as i have the template for that template what i configured the objects the published object everything came up here if you want you can edit also here now if you go to this email so now see i got a email so from this organizations okay has invited you to connect in selfers so this in this email what i have let me this link what i have to re to respond in invitation so should i accept the connection or not i can just open this link now okay now if you see here let me copy it copy link address now i go to right now i'm in the sf connect 1 now i'll go to my sf connect 2 org so here i'm going to open that link which i got in the email as a second org or you can say partner 2 org okay so now you see i just uh, log in again so let me see what are the username here we have given if you see the username so let's go to my profile so i just want to show you how it is how it is happening so once you hit this url it will ask you to log in you just log in 
how you want. Okay, so this is my username. Device is art SF connect tool. Okay, so now I am going to log in with my second org with whom I am sharing data with their username password. Okay, I click login. Okay, so now you see what happened. So now once I log in, you can see as I have already set up my SF uh, self host to self host setting I enabled. Now you can see this is the invitation what I get self host. This system has invited your company to connect. If you want, then you can accept. If you don't want to accept, then you can decline or you can decide later. Okay. So now you can see this is the connections till now. It's just invitation received. And a connection can be deactivated by either side at any time. So let me accept it right now. Okay. So this way I simply set up the connection between two org. Now you can see. Here I do not have any published object. Okay, I have to see what we can do on this subscribe. So now on this connection, what happened? We have uh, defined a template where I publishing all these objects. So it may happen this target org may not need all data. Okay, we will see how I am configuring this subscribe and unsubscribe and how I am going to share the data in the next session. Stay tuned. Thank you.